All right, guys, I'm back from my last video for today. I promise you, uh, we need to talk about negative numbers a little bit. A quick review. Remember that negative numbers is this concept that below zero, uh, we can go in that direction. We can sink below the, the, the base, below zero. So you can think about this like temperature. All right, you can have warm temperatures that are, you know, in the 70s and 80s, but the temperatures can drop below a certain point that's considered zero and get into like freezing temperatures. All right. Uh, money's another good example when we're talking about negatives. All right. You can have no money, but worse than that, you can owe somebody money. Right. You could have like $10 that you owe your brother or sister or something like that. Uh, so numbers can go in a positive direction, but they can also go in a negative direction. All right. Um, we've done a lot with uh, of, uh, adding negative numbers. We talk about, oh, you know, you have uh, 15 dollars we'll say um but you owe but you owe five to your dad uh, as a dad i like that idea all right but you owe five dollars to your dad so what do you really have well if i pay my dad off here i have ten dollars okay so that would be like if i was here at 15 but then i had to go down five because I, I had a negative shift here all right, so I'd end up on the 10 spot. Uh, so adding a negative is basically just subtraction, right? When you add a negative, it's just subtraction. So 100 plus negative 25, well, that's just 100 minus 25. So my answer is 75. Oops, that really is a weird 5. There we go. All right. Um, if I start in the negatives, like let's say I start by owing uh, $10 to the... Uh, I don't know, Music of the Month Club. I don't even think they have those anymore. But anyhow, let's say I owe $10 to the Music of the Month Club, and uh, I go shovel snow this winter, and I make $20. Uh, let me rewrite this. I don't know where I'm going with it. All right. I owe $10 to the Music of the Month Club, but I uh, shovel snow this winter, and I make $20. Well, by the time I send the money into that club, I'm only left with $10, right? Because I had 20 but I had to pay off my debt. So I only have 10. So far, uh, if you're following me, anytime we have a negative number that's being added to a positive number, no matter what order we put them in, we're basically doing subtraction. All right? So if I have a positive number plus, little plus sign, a negative number, okay, it's subtraction. And that sort of makes sense, right? In today's work, you're going to come across sort of a newer concept, and it's the idea that if I have a number, okay, let's say it's a positive number to begin with, and I subtract a negative number, okay, that's actually addition. And that's hard for some people to wrap their mind around. Uh, my, my teacher always showed me that when you minus a negative, it's like you take these two pieces and you rearrange them. You flip that one sideways. So here's the this one. That one you flip sideways. And look, hey, look there, Mr. Young Hofer. Uh, that's a plus sign, isn't it? So minus a negative, that's plus. Um, and that, that works. Okay, that's a good way to, to remember it, that you could take those two parts and make a plus sign out of them. But uh, the, I want you to see the reality of why that is. So let's kind of take a look here for a moment. All right. Now, uh, tax time comes around, you're an adult, let's say, you've got a job, and Uncle Sam decides to give you a tax refund, uh, and you got a tax refund of $600, all right? Woohoo, $600, yay! All right, now, um, you might be tempted to go spend that on a bunch of junk. You might buy a bunch of video games and some new shoes and this and that, and just blow all that money. But, you got to keep in mind that you still have to pay rent that month. All right, so you have $600, but you also, uh, you have to pay the rent <clears throat> of $300, all right? And if you're a responsible and smart person, you say, oh, well, uh, that means I don't really have $600 because I've got to I've got to subtract off this, uh, this is supposed to be just a minus sign here. i got to subtract off this $300 rent, so, you know, actually, all I really have is $300, and if I spend any more than that, then I'm going to not be able to make my rent this month. So, you know, being smart, you're not going to do that. You're going to just, you know, put aside the money you owe there. All right, so 
Um, the thing is, this is a debt, right? This is a, a negative here, all right? Mm -hmm. What would happen if uh, your landlord comes to you and they say, oh, you, you've, you've been such a great tenant, I tell you what, I tell you what, you've, you've paid your rent on time for year after year after year, uh, you know what, uh, tell you what, uh, me is a gift to you, uh, no rent this month, you, you know pay no rent this month, all right? Well, that would, be, uh, that would be losing that debt, right? You normally have that debt, but now, this time around, you're subtracting off, oh, wait a minute, I'm sorry, let's start with the 300 you had. So you normally have, uh, you would have had 300 left after paying the rent, but now you're subtracting off the debt of 300 you would normally have, okay? So this is minus a negative. So again, that's like adding it. That's like, oh, I'm back to having $600 I can spend, all right? Because I don't have this debt anymore. They took away the debt, so now it's money that I can actually use. Um, going back to our, our number line here, if I have something like this, okay, so this would be a situation, uh, so this bar here represents 20, okay, $20, 20 whatever, okay, and the reason it represents 20 is because it goes from the 10 to the 0, which is 10 spaces, and from the 0 to the negative 10, which is 10 spaces, all right, if I were to shift it that way by getting rid of negative 10 here, okay, so I'm going to move negative 10 spaces that way, that bar would now go from here to there, right? It would shift this way, all right? You kind of see how that works when I get rid of these negative spaces, I move the bar that way, all right? So long story short on today's work, whenever you see uh, anything where it's, uh, let's say, 13 minus negative 6, anytime you see minus a negative, these become plus signs, okay? Two negatives to next to each other become a plus. 13 plus 6, that'd be 19. 19 would be the answer. Okay, let's look at one more. Uh, 8 minus negative 12 equals, well, again, minus a negative, that's plus. 8 plus 12 is 20. Hope that helps. Uh, you can always uh, email me to Zoom if you don't understand it or need anything uh, checked for you. Have a great day.